Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Preparation video for February 18th, 2021. So, my goodness, everyone, I hope this video finds you all safe and warm. We've continuing to have problems, particularly in Texas with the power issues. Hopefully everyone in that region is holding up okay. What a challenging time for the country. Yesterday we ended up with the market with a bit of a mixed bag of results, a little bit of back and forth. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's check out these technicals and the news events. Let's buckle up and get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we are looking at a market that seems just to be a little bit cautious. Maybe a little bit of uncertainty has kind of crept into the market here with the choppy price action that we've seen the last few days. Now, interestingly enough, yesterday the Dow or the Diamonds seemed almost defiant against every uh, everything else rallying to a new record high yesterday pushing on up it just absolute push um in the dow while the re rest of the indexes seem to struggle kind of an interesting um interesting thing that was going on here so as we look at the charts now although there's this little bit of uncertainty there's this little bit of mm, maybe lack of momentum that may have occurred um we still hold bullish trends and we're holding above support levels in the chart and yesterday's new record high in the dow kind of kept things moving or um, that hopefulness of more market highs and this morning it looks like the pre-market candle we're looking at a little bit of a pullback right now as i'm recording this dow futures are pointing uh down slightly we're 93 points lower this morning which would kind of take back yesterday's candle and keep us in this little consolidating choppy zone that we've seen here in the market and i mentioned yesterday that possibility that there's nothing wrong in fact it could be a healthy thing if we stay within that little bit of a choppy zone and consolidate this move rest and it could be in that zone for another couple of weeks easily just to re, um, engage this trend that I've drawn here on the chart. So nothing bad here, but maybe just a little bit of hmm, a little bit of concern, um, uncertainty um, as we continue to chop around here in the market. Now let's take a look at the spy. Now the spy struggled a bit more yesterday, and although it rallied back up. After some selling yesterday, uh, it it kind of popped right into a little bit of uh, price resistance area and was unable to break through uh, for a positive day. Now our trend is still uh, continues to be uh, bullish. We continue to have support through this area. And so what we may be seeing is just nothing more than a bit of rest and consolidation as we slide out here toward trend. And I don't think that's bearish at all, but we are experiencing that lack of momentum. And, and right now that's just something that the market's not used to. It's just been all bulls all the time. And you're probably finding that even though you may have a really good buy signal um, on a chart, it just kind of falls flat then. It, it doesn't follow through. Um, so that can be a symptom of that consolidating market. So be a little bit careful, maybe a time to pull back just a little bit on your trading activity, watch carefully. It's only gonna take a little bit of a stumble and, um, and that stumble could really uh, trigger those bears um, in the market. Now, I, I do have to say that I continue to favor the upside as long as we continue to think about or hope for or dream about this giant um, stimulus bill, the market wants to stay up. But just kind of keep in mind, we're pretty stretched out here and um, any kind of a stumble could really bring those bears in. So just kind of stay on your toes and stay focused. Let's take a look at the queues. Now the QQQ had a a tougher day yesterday than the other indexes. We saw some selling in Apple and 
some of the the bigger techs yesterday apple um got hit with another um, antitrust lawsuit out of europe yesterday and um, just a little bit more of a challenge in here now we also have some interesting news coming out here um australia has passed um some regulation that requires um social media and, and folks like google to pay for news stories to be um, used on their platforms. Now, Google went ahead and reached a financial agreement, but Facebook has kind of defiantly said, okay, we'll show you. Um, we're going to block any news agency. We're not going to let anybody post anything from the news. In fact, we're going to basically isolate you um, in that situation. So it could be an interesting thing going on here with Facebook. And then Facebook has also announced this morning that it has decided that it will be, it will be the gatekeeper, the arbiter of truth uh, for climate change news. And um, I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little bit sick and tired of them telling me that Facebook is the know-all be-all um, of the country. So we'll see how that affects um, some of these uh, tech um, giants. Now, also in that, in that um, situation since Google has reached an agreement with Australia, you can certainly imagine that news agencies across the world are going to come after that situation. Um, they're going to try and get paid as well, um, get their piece of the pie. So we can kind of expect agencies around the world will kind of uh, pile on here um, since Google has shown um, a willingness to pay for that um, information. Interesting situation that could be faced by these uh, some of these tech giants and social media um, giants. So watch, um, watch that closely. I don't know how that's going to play out, but it's certainly worth keeping an eye on. So we're holding this price support in the chart. Notice that we have just a little bit more of that pullback look going on this morning and if we get some follow through here today if we were to push down let's watch this price support we want to hold this price support where we've seen that before if we were to slip below that that could be a little bit of a problem so watch that carefully we don't want to be slipping down below that level here in the nasdaq if the nasdaq starts to roll over that really could pull pretty hard on the other indexes. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM has enjoyed a, a, an amazing year, and I keep pointing out how parabolic this, um, this uh, chart looks, but there doesn't seem to be a whole, um, uh, a whole lot of um, interest in selling it off. The bears just don't seem to have any energy in that move. Now, if I draw this really, really tightly up through here, you can see that we're starting to slide past that little bit of trend. Now you could say, hey, come on, man, um, that's being unfair. We need to move that trend out here. And that may be true. So kind of keep an eye on this. We may be running just a little bit of running out of gas, a little bit of momentum loss um, in this index. So watch that closely. Now, um, energy stocks continue to re remain strong, and we saw some good price action in some of the financials yesterday as well. So perhaps um, we aren't running out of energy, but there is does seem to be just that little bit of um, consolidation going on in here. And that could be a very productive consolidation, but let's just keep a close eye on it. Like I say, any stumble could create um, that shock wave that could really bring in the bears. Let's take a look at um, our VIX. Now the VIX continues to just chop around here. We can't seem to break down through this floor. And I really think we need to, if we're gonna to continue to press out for new record highs, we need to break down through this floor. We need to see that fear dropping out. So far, we continue to chop around in this area, and there's just that palpable uncertainty in the market right now. So keep a close eye on that. Can't say that this is bad, but just, um, just something to keep an eye on, something to be warned of if we start to show that little bit of pullback here in the market. Um, let's take a look at T2122, which is the four week 
new high, new low ratio. And we saw a little bit more pullback yesterday. Now, this opens up the door. Anytime we get um, that resting pullback in the market and we start drawing down, it opens up that opportunity that we could get, catch that bullish um, um, inspiration and move back up. So we have upside opportunity here according to T2122. We've kind of taken a little shine off of that high point up here. But we also want to recognize the fact that we still have a pretty sizable open space to the downside um, in T2122. Now I'm not going to suggest that we just collapse all the way down, but we could continue to see that gradual pullback as the market consolidates and we kind of lose that steam for that upside move. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar has a few things that uh, could really move us around a lot um, this morning. So let's take a look at that. Um, get rid of the blog there. As you can see here, we've got housing permits coming out. It's going to be interesting to see. We, we saw a substantial decline in mortgage applications yesterday, and it'll be interesting if that starts to trickle into housing starts and permits. So watch that closely here before the bell that's going to come out uh, before, here before we open up. So couldn't see some market reaction to that. We've got jobless claims and right now the consensus is suggesting that jobless claims um, may have increased just slightly over um, last week. So watch that carefully could have an effect on the market, both bullish or bearish. And then we've got the Philly Fed import export prices, natural gas and petroleum status report. Obviously the con petroleum status report um, can certainly have a major um, impact. Those energy sector stocks, those oil sector stocks, if we continue to see that decline in supplies, that could certainly help bolster those, um, those oil sector stocks. So watch that close. And then we have the Fed balance sheet later in the day but I don't think that matters um, uh, nobody seems to care about how much debt the Fed has put on um, as long as we keep the market moving up so um, I don't think it really matters so let's take a look at um, the earnings calendar now the earnings calendar is pretty busy today um over 100 companies reporting and um, i obviously don't have time to go over all of the potential notables this morning but let's take a look at, at a few of these um uh, barry gold barry gold will be reporting today keep an eye on that barry um gold has really been struggling here lately we've got um and, and it's and it seems interesting that the miners are suffering as well so keep keep an eye on that as Barry reports. We're also going to see um, um, a report from Newmont Mining today, so watch for that. We've got WMT that will be reporting this morning. Looks like WMT uh, missed the mark here today and is being punished this morning, so keep an eye on that. Pretty ugly bearish engulfing candle coming in here, and that happens to be right in that downtrend area. So um, uh, Walmart showing a little bit of suffering here this morning um, in the pre-market. Let's keep an eye on that. We um, got a report from, um, just a second, um, from these guys this morning, um, CS, and um, they apparently, uh, didn't do a very good job um, in that earnings report, pulling back a little bit today. So that's a little bit of um, a dark stain on the financial sector today. We'll want to keep an eye on that and see if that affects or draws into some of these other stocks that have been pretty high flyers here recently. So watch that closely. We're also going to um, get some um, um, information from like HL. Whoops, let's get HL. HL in here, another gold miner. We're going to um, hear from them. We're going to hear from Trip Advisor. Um, take a look at this. This has been rallying, rallying, rallying really, really strong in anticipation of a recovery. Kind of keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from Waste Management today. Um, keep an eye on that. We're also going to uh, be hearing from FE. We've got some utilities in the mix today. Um, so 
um, might want to watch some of that utility sector if they start to perform well or poorly. Uh, might be something to keep an eye on. And last but not least, I'm going to mention today, um, Planet Fitness um, will be reporting today. So keep an eye on that. We know that these fitness um, um, companies have struggled quite a bit, but it's interesting that Planet Fitness has come right back to those new high or those high levels in the chart were challenging these high levels so keep a close eye on it it would be hard for me to imagine that they have produced the same kind of earnings that they were prior to COVID but um, we're pricing them high anyway so let's take a look oh by the way if you um if you want to get the full list of stocks that are in um, the list the full list of stocks just click that link just below the title of the video today that'll take you back um, to uh, the blog where you can get that full list of notables for this morning also if you look just one step lower if you want to support the channel and want to buy me a coffee there's a link down there where you can do that obviously there's no obligation to do so but if you want to support the channel help me continue to um, invest in better equipment and things like that um, I truly appreciate it so thank you very much for those who already have you guys are awesome I truly truly you guys are awesome thank you so much for the folks who who um, um, utilized that link yesterday you guys thank you so much I will be investing that those funds right back into the equipment to try and produce better and better content for the channel let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos and um, if you feel like the video was worthy if you got some good content out of this please make sure and click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps us continue to grow and always of course feel free to share this out on your social media platforms let's take a look at some stock setting up and remember that as I talk about these stocks these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact I always say that it's very very important everyone does their own due diligence and focuses in pretty carefully on those charts to make sure they fit your trading plan take a look at Disney here now Disney had a nice little reaction to this price support yesterday take a look right there we held that price support um, very nicely and um, saw those bulls stepping up here with a little bit of a hammer type pattern off of that support now we are still away from trend as you can see here we still are a little bit away from trend and what that means is that we could still kind of slide sideways here and consolidate over but one of the things I think might be a good idea is to just keep an eye on this chart and you can see I placed an alert up here on this chart um, yesterday just just waiting watching um, I'm in no rush to enter that trade but I just want to keep an eye on it just in case that decides to take off early and we know Disney had a good earnings report with a phenomenal uh, number in, of subscriptions in their streaming service so watch that closely as this continues to set up take a look at snap now snap a pretty interesting chart here in a nice little consolidating move notice that I call this a a box and this is um, one of the patterns I trade I call it the pop out of the box pattern and all it really is is we have a nice tight consolidation notice how tight this consolidation is there's what is what it's saying is there's no buyers above here at least at the moment there's no sellers below here and as we continue to chop sideways in this um, upside trend I have to favor the potential of the upside move so I would want to be watching snap for that opportunity that this could pop on through and start moving on up so keep snap on a list it's something to watch and you can see I've placed an alert on that chart waiting to see if that's going to go can't tell you when or if it might go but it's certainly worth keeping an eye on uh, take a look at that Etsy now Etsy slipped a little bit here the last couple of days but we're still in that place where we can if we can garner just a little bit of uh, bullishness in the market we could see Etsy pop right back up in here we know it's done very very well 
um, uh, as a result of COVID. So keep a close eye. I still want to keep that on my list. And I have to keep pointing out these little retailers. They are just holding up extremely well. Um, Kohl's, um, you can see Kohl's um, dealing with a major level here. We broke through it as resistance. We're holding it as support. Notice right in here, there's that same pop out of the box type pattern setting up here. Um, we're trying to slide out here to find our trend, just looking to see if we can get a little bit of energy to pop on through. So take a look at those. And if we are going to see another round of stimulus, which it looks like we most definitely are, hey, it, it's retailers like this that could definitely benefit. So keep an eye on stocks like Kohl's, um, AEO, AEO in the same kind of pattern, um, ANF, Abercrombie holding up in there, trying to show some bullishness in the chart. So keep an eye on those holding up pretty darn well overall. Let's take a look at Intel. Intel has had an interesting chart here. Sloppy as all get out. This is just ugly, um, just ugly slop in this chart. But notice how it's starting to shape up here just a little bit. And the price action is starting to become a little bit more concise. And what I mean by concise is we have smaller, smaller, um, uh, price action, we're not seeing the big whips, and no, no big wicks or tails in that price action. And the fact that we broke through this area of resistance up here, that is a good sign. So this nice little resting pullback coming back in here toward trend is something I want to pay attention to and that opportunity that Intel could finally catch in here and take off back to the upside. So keep an eye on Intel, a uh, pretty interesting chart to be watching. Watching. I think we need to keep an eye on some of these um, oil sector stocks like RIG. RIG has been holding up quite well. Notice no one really wants to sell it in here. And we're pressing against a substantial resistance in the chart. If that can find a little bit of energy and perhaps that petroleum status number today could provide that energy, we could see um, RIG pop on through and show that strength. Another in that area is Valero. Um, Valero having already broken through a pretty significant level of price resistance in the chart and proved to hold that. Now, I wouldn't want to chase this right now, maybe a little bit more rest or consolidation. Maybe we slide out here and we contact this trend, but Valero may be something to put on the list if those oil sector stocks are coming up. If demand is happening in that oil industry, then we're going to need these refiners and explorers to start picking up. So watch those charts carefully. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great success in your trading. Once again, thank you so much for everyone who watches and contributes to the channel with those thumbs up and comments. I truly, truly Really appreciate it you guys are awesome we'll see you right back here bright and early friday morning have a great day and i wish you great profits